Walk me through kind of what a day in the life of Mark Cuban looks like. Oh, my God. Things are going good. <laughs> if the Mavs are winning, I'm happy. Day in the life. Um, used to be I took my kids to school to start today, but my 16-year-old daughter's now driving. That's an adventure. Um, and then just stuff like this, interviews, meetings. Um, I try to do as few meetings as possible, but they happen. And then just reading and getting whatever I need to get done. Yeah, definitely. I want to go back really quick. I mean, you purchased when you purchased the Mavericks, what was like your ultimate goal? What was the goal in mind and how has it changed over the years? Um, I had two goals. One was to have as much fun as humanly possible. And two was to win a championship. And those goals have not changed. Um, I just try to enjoy it um, and try, you know, now, now with Luca, hopefully we're back on track and KP to, to win a championship again. That, it, very simple, very simple goals. <laughs> the thing about this organization that really strikes me is just the continuity that you've kept throughout the years. It's very rare uh, mm -hmm. in any professional sports league or team to have that sort of continuity that you have through coaches, management, right. et cetera. Why do you believe that's so important? And kind of what's the structure of the organization and why is that so? Well, it's the same fundamental principle that I had when I first bought the team that don't make a change unless you have someplace better to go, you know? And so change just to change something or to send a message, I'm not a big believer in. And so when I came in, Nelly was the coach and general manager and Donnie was an assistant coach, um, an assistant general manager effectively. And it was, you know, it was obvious to me that they'd forgotten more about basketball than I'll ever know. And so the, the concept of me coming in and just making changes to bring in people I hadn't met yet yeah. just didn't make any sense to me. And then um, it's the same thing with coaches. I mean, now with Rick, he's a great coach, you know, and, and it's not like, okay, Rick, we had a bad season. Let's go find somebody better. You're not going to find somebody better. And so unless I've got a, a, somewhere to go, why make a change? It just doesn't make any sense. And so, you know, and over time, you learn how to put people in a position to succeed, what their strengths and what their weaknesses are, so that you can then complement them. Um, and I know enough about basketball now that it doesn't freak me out what I don't know. Yeah. You know, because I've had 20 years to, to watch and observe and learn and, and just get a better feel for what happens. Um, and so, yeah, the continuity wasn't necessarily by design but just with some basic principles. Unless you know you have something better, don't change. What you have is good. Yeah. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. <laughs> I think a lot of people come to realize that, obviously. You look at yeah, that. when it's too late, yeah. Yeah, exactly.